So as you can see from the poster, our project is about magazine style publishing for the iPad. So if someone wants to read a blog, if someone wants to read news on the iPad, then what options does he have? He either has the browser, but as we all know, the browser on iPad is not that uh, friendly to touch. Uh, it, it, it doesn't have that many gestures, and that is why the native apps are there. And the other option is the native apps. So for instance, if you want to read BBC News, then you download an app for BBC. If you want to read TechCrunch, then you download an app for TechCrunch. But firstly, not everyone can afford to have an iPad build. For example, if, uh, if you are not a big company, then probably you will think twice before investing money in making an iPad app. And moreover, as a subscriber or as a reader, how many apps will you download? You, you will not want to download hundreds of apps. So what we have done is, we have tried to bring all the, uh, we have tried to create a one-stop uh, platform for all the publishers where the publishers can publish their content and the uh, uh, readers or the iPad owners can just choose what they want to read about, uh, they can comment, they can rate and so on. So, yeah. So now let us have a look at the solution. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, this is the uh, web app that the publisher can use to uh, create his articles. So at the start, he can just simply go and log in. Uh, when the publisher logs in, he will be able to see a, a dashboard, dashboard where he can see the list of all the articles that he has created. He can create a new article by simply clicking on create new article. And here he can, simp he can either write his text or copy paste his existing text into the text editor. Once he's finished writing the article, he can choose to select any of the existing articles to be one of the related articles. So let's say the, the publisher decides to keep these three articles as related, and he can go ahead and publish. So now the greatest advantage of our app is that it allows the content to be automatically converted into an iPad-friendly view. Now he can go ahead and choose between different templates that he wants. So in this case, he wants to go ahead with a two-column layout, or he can choose to have a layout where he can drag and drop his images. To drag and drop images, he just drags his image onto the screen, and it gets added. He can add as many images as he wants. And once he, he's finished adding images, he can go ahead and publish. That's all he needs to do. After that, the app gets Uh, once he, he finishes publishing, the app gets, uh, the article goes into the uh, app publisher's home screen. So as you can see, that BBC just published an article with the one that was created. You can go ahead and you can swipe through the images. It's the same article that he just created and exactly in the same format as it was created. He can zoom in and look at the different images or he can go back. He can also look at the related articles. So the advantage is that whenever he clicks on a related article, it gets refreshed and loads on the same screen. Now, uh, another feature of our app is that you can look at the overview. So you can see how many pages are there in the app. And you can go to some selected page. Also, you can rate. So depending on how much you rate, you can rate the article. Or you can go back to the home screen. And you can choose to read another article. So let's say if I want to read this article, uh, it can support videos, so I can go ahead and play this video about Steve Jobs giving his talk. Yeah. Um, next, he can also go and load his comments, or he can comment on Facebook. 